Each week for the final challenge, the mannequins will be gone. Hello. And the sewers will have to make clothes to perfectly fit a model. Where are you from? Barcelona. I can speak Spanish too. Okay. Yes. Welcome, guys. Make yourselves at home. You sort of look like I do at home in that you're all in your underwear. Yes, but Ricardo says to his model, I hope the body rise will work with you. Or I'll have to do this. And the fit's good? With... Yes, yes. I mean, I've done the trousers and yeah. they fit perfectly, like Great. gloves. Like gloves. She's got five legs. <laughs> Brilliant. Look forward Great. to seeing it. Yeah, yeah, me too. <laughs> uh, Get your models dressed. Time's running out. She looks so sexy and feminine. I'm so happy. Ricardo's cool and stylish blue jumpsuit. I like this. I like that kind of 80s vibe it's giving off. And I think it's a really good combination of fabrics. It moves nicely, it's just skimming the body where it needs to be. The silhouette of it is lovely. The fact that you've drafted that yourself, bravo for that. It's very elegant. I like it a lot. For the final garment of 70s week, the sewers have been able to practice at home. I like a maxi dress, a nice, elegant maxi dress. Put that over your head. So there's your arms. Only a perfectly fitting bodice. So I'm happy. We'll give the flattering silhouette that makes the maxi a 70s fashion icon. Well, I can't poke a baggy, but it will stop going together. The dress is this on is your bubbles, guys. Sleep. Are you ready? OK, OK. Do you want to get the hands Oh, yeah. On board a westbound seven, 47. She looks like one of the Charlie's Angels on holiday. Mm. <laughs> well, first impressions, it moves so nicely. The belt looks like a last-minute addition. It's yes. not finished. Can I take this belt off you? I mean, actually, without the belt... Oh, it looks much better. I mean, honestly, it God, looks here, much take that. nicer without the belt. <laughs> I love that. I think the fit, it's just a fraction loose. And actually, the seams aren't matching up. But the way you've got these cascading tier of skirt is really effective. It's dramatic. Thank I you. thought me and Laura had similar waists, but... Um... <laughs> <laughs> the models have returned to be fitted with outfits made with reused fabric. Hello. Maybe I should have washed the, the cartoon before putting on the model. Ooh. Really sorry, I think it would look <laughs> really nice. You sound like some fancy designer when you're fitting. Yes, this is gorgeous. I love it. Hopefully I've got it to fit her now. Yeah, that's good. I'm trying to make the perfect shape. I think I like it. I really like this fabric because it's thick enough to be shaped around the body, but not too heavy. A very thick fabric, I'm not sure would have been a good choice for a pleated dress because it might be too bulky. I need to make a belt using the curtain. Oops, I need to be fast if I want to finish in time. I like it. It's super original. Oh, okay, excellent. Okay, perfect. Curtain tiebacks. That is the end of the made to measure challenge. Wow, yes. Oh, no. I'm exhausted. I simply remember my favorite things and then I don't feel so bad. I love this period pattern and I think it's really on trend actually and the fabric works really really well. The fabric choice is fabulous and I love the way you've reused the rings from the curtain to make the belt. It really works. It's a slight sort of nod to the modernity of the 60s and I really love this asymmetric pleated front and then the central pleats in the skirt. I feel it's pulling here. Do you see here? But I do love it, and I hope you will try and make some more dresses like this. I think the overall impression is extraordinarily chic. Oh. As it's the... British and Irish Fabrics Week, the judges want you to make a coat out of British wool. Now, a word of warning, I know that it will help your sewing, but if you put your coat onto your model before the end of the challenge, they won't feel the benefit. The sewers have been able to practice their coats at home. Due to the weight of the fabric, sleeves hung in the wrong position or poorly pitched will pull the rest of the garment out of shape. So you use them to give like a nice shape to the shoulder, but my model is very nice, broad, straight shoulder, so I don't know if I should actually use it. Oh. Ricardo, you need to get it on your model. Sorry, it's not finished. Needles up, that is your time. Wow. Yeah. So oh, I'm loving it. 
I feel great. I'm walking tall. I feel fine. I'm walking tall. You're too late. I've got spring. I'm walking tall. Because she loves me and me. I'm walking tall. Ricardo, I love it. I think it's really impactful. I love that kind of soft drape. You know, the Harris tweed is actually a softer, lighter tweed than many people think, and it has a lovely fall to it. I mean, the back is absolutely stunning. I love the shape of this yoke and this kind of bold pleat with the inserted yellow tweed. You've done a lot of work because you've done all this top stitching. This kind of swelled edge follows all the way around on the collar. You've got it on the belt. It follows around on the pockets. The pockets actually, when the belt is on, I think they sit in that space really well. Let me turn you to one side. That sleeve is perfectly pitched. <laughs> perfectly <laughs> pitched. You know, look at it. There is not a wrinkle down that sleeve. Let's have a little look inside. So you've fully lined it. No, not in the sleeves. So not in the like sleeve. There is no sleeve lining. But I love the combination of fabric. It looks really cool. It really suits you. Yeah, she looks stunning. I really like it. The models are primed. The sewing machine's threaded. <laughs> this made-to-measure is all that stands between our sewers and the final. I can feel the pressure. But let's see. This week, as it's World Sewing Week, the made-to-measure is taking us here to Japan. We need a fabric that is going to fold into crisp, precise shapes. So the fabric has to have enough body that it'll take a sharp crease. Careful because it might break. One minute to go. Let's get those models dressed. Oof. Well done, everyone. <laughs> wow. How about it, baby? We asked for origami, and you've absolutely given us origami. Mm. It's very sculptural, but it's very delicate. I mean, I was in two minds as to how this was going to look in the finished article, but it has real impact. I love organdy, and you have used it so well. The top is simple, so the drama is all in your folding and pleating. I mean, simple, but very, very impactful. Here we have the edge of the fabric covering the zip. I just think that's a really great detail. Still playing on that layers of the fabric. I love that you have given us raw edges throughout. We can see the seams that you've pressed open. I love that we can see the inside of the darts. It's almost like, you, you know, we're sort of x-raying into the bones yes. of this garment, and it's really effective. It's got this really lovely kind of ethereal quality to it, and it's really stunning. Well done. Thank you. Japan, Kakoi, Yolachi, 